FTX went from a $32 billion company to bankruptcy in the matter of just four days or so. Sam Bankman-Fried is stepping down as CEO. The 30-year-old will stay on through the Chapter 11 transition. He tweeted this morning. He says, I'm really sorry again that we ended up here. Hopefully things can find a way to recover, and this can bring some amount of transparency, trust, and governance to customers. He also says he was shocked to see things unravel the way they did earlier this week. This bankruptcy filing includes Bankman Freed's quant trading firm Alameda Research and 134 affiliated companies all over the world. You've got places like Nigeria and Uganda, South Africa, to Europe, Hong Kong, and Switzerland. The estimated liabilities stand at between $10 billion to $50 billion. FTX also has more than 100,000 creditors, according to these documents. It was a stunning reversal for Sam bankman fried He had been bailing others out in the industry this year. One of those companies, BlockFi, pausing withdrawals overnight. We also heard from Anthony Scaramucci, an FTX investor. bankman fried had also made an investment in his fund, Skybridge, earlier this year. He was in NASA with bankman fried earlier this week as all of this unraveled. Here's what he said earlier on Squawk Box. When I got to the Bahamas, it became clear, at least from some of the people that worked on the legal team uh, and the compliance team, that perhaps there was more going on than it being a rescue situation. Uh, so when I left the Bahamas in the afternoon, I was actually distressed. I don't want to call it fraud at this moment because that's actually a legal term uh, and none of us know, uh, and we have to leave it up to the regulators. Two sources now tell me the Department of Justice is looking into FTX and Sam bankman fried and Fundstrat out with a note to clients in the last hour or so saying it's appropriate to wait for lower lows in crypto prices. They say there will be other casualties, which could, be, could lead to forced selling or headline risk. They also go on to say if we learned anything from the other credit crises this year, it's that sometimes it takes a little while to find out where the bodies are buried, as they put it, Scott. Yeah. Back to you. All right, Kate, thank you. That's Kate Rooney. I should also let you know, speaking of Fundstrat, look, Tom Lee has suggested that Bitcoin was going to go to 100000 He's going to be on with me later today in overtime, so we're going to discuss this situation along with the markets, which he's obviously been bullish on, too, and we'll do that a little later in overtime.